Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys cartoon TMNT video. And I should preface this all by saying that while these are parts of the cartoon TMNT line, they are more so a tip of the hat, a wink and a nod, if you will, to cartoon TMNT offshoots, more in the Playmates Toys Varner Studios designs. And for what it reminds me of, I am definitely not complaining because that's definitely Samurai Adventure Michelangelo and I totally remember Space Adventure Donatello, but more on that in just a few. On the back side of the packaging, you're gonna get the usual. You got nice photos of the figures you're about to enjoy. You get a write-up that pertains to the 80s cartoon show along with other figures that are starting to hit store shelves now. On the bottom of the box, you get everyone involved with the creation of these figures. So thank you very much for that. Along with a special shout out to Jason Yang at work more or less on Instagram. Please check him out. He has some amazing behind the scenes visuals, photos of his work creating these two figures. So definitely check it out. You definitely don't want to miss it, along with the barcode. Now, these are starting to hit Target store shelves now exclusively, so if you want them, keep an eye out this week. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Samurai Adventure Michelangelo and the Space Adventure Donatello from the cartoon TMNT line by NECA Toys. And while I got all you would-be adventurists here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we got old toys, we got new toys, we got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like, like adventuring toitles. Now, here's everything inside the packaging, all taken out of the packaging, and in true naked fashion, yeah, they load you up. Because when you're on an adventure, you want all those choices to be multiple, and they got you going in spades because Donatello comes with multiple hands to hold, well, several of his accessories, we'll just say. It's all painted nicely, very nicely designed. I like what they're doing here because with all those hands, you're gonna need to hold these two, I wanna say corn cob guns. It kinda looks like a grenade strapped to a clock that's now been turned into a ray gun. And for going off of old TMNT toys, the wackiness of them, they've perfectly captured that. The colors are what make these pop. You get two options for a backpack. One looks more like a radio, and Donatello has a porthole right there, which that will simply slip into, and it looks pretty good. However, I do prefer the more rocket ship type backpack, which has excellent color and had me thinking, I've seen this before, because that's definitely a wink and a nod to the sewer swimming Donatello of old with that particular piece right there. I had this figure, I wish I could show you this figure. Cannot find this figure, but I do have the other piece, just not the Donatello and that particular rocket swimming launcher thing. So go figure, right? But like I said, everything looks cool and everything is just that right little nostalgic nod that makes these extra fun because this will simply slip right onto the back of Donatello so he can head off on all kinds of space adventuring. So in terms of the helmets, well, NECA Toys has you covered. It has minimal paint, a little bit of black accent line work, clear plastic dome, which I absolutely like, and it just simply slips right over Donatello's head. Very simplistic. Mine has a couple blemishes here and there, so make sure you get yourself a good looking one if you go through a few in the store. Donatello himself. This is fun. This is actually pretty cool. And I had my concerns at first because I go, well, no, I want all the cartoon TMNT characters before we start delving into this. But I changed my mind having these in hand because yes, these are a lot of fun. Don't go too crazy right off the bat. Finish the cartoon TMNT line characters, but when you fold the goggles down, I mean, come on. That's, <laughs> that, that is just cartoon TMNT figures, TMNT figures in general from the days of the 80s. You're gonna get plenty of articulation in the head, the arms, the biceps. Everything moves like a NECA Toys cartoon TMNT figure would. There's nothing shocking. He has some waist swivel, which, 
In terms of a shell, how does that really work? It doesn't matter because we're having fun here and we don't need to think about logistics. Go easy on the double jointed knees, especially with the knee pads. Those are gonna kind of get stuck within the joint. So you don't wanna snap anything, break anything, tear anything, you get the idea. Plenty of rotation in the feet. This is a really cool Donatello. And like I said, with the helmet, how that simply just slips on, kind of seals front to back, that's, that's a lot of fun. That's a space adventure in Ninja Turtle. In terms of Michelangelo now, he's gonna come with several hands, but definitely not as many hands as the space adventuring Donatello. However, the buckles, the yellow parts, the black, the green, everything is painted nicely. You also get this chained weapon, real chain, and Trevor is never gonna let me live that down because I complained one time about the pre-mutation Rocksteady having a real chain weapon. I thought a plastic chain weapon would have looked good. I don't have to defend myself, this weapon, Looks fantastic. Anyways, you get this snake whacking bat for Michelangelo. It has nice paint for the handle and it's fairly simplistic, but very effective. You also get this cool handheld bladed weapon. Again, minimal paint, but it definitely works. The katanas for me out of all the weapons are really the mainstay. Again, the colors for this set really make this pop, really has a lot of energy, really bring these characters to life. And the swords themselves are really nicely done along with this long bladed weapon. Nice yellows, nice brown, can't complain. The weapons are all solid. You do get an alternate Michelangelo head portraits. You can swip swap all these head portraits, which are nice, but you don't get the bandanas. Just keep in mind because that's where the helmet clips in. Because the Freddy Cat nature of Michelangelo is thoroughly represented here. And if you think about it, him traveling back in time, being a samurai, yes, Mikey would be scared out of his mind. However, the more mean-spirited the look of this head portrait from Michelangelo doesn't necessarily fit for the cartoon TMNT, Mirage comics, sure. But overall, the samurai nature, the colors, the details, the design, it's beautiful. This is a really well-crafted, well-designed action figure. Down to the helmets, down to the armor. You'll notice a plastic piece. I'll show you why I kept that on within the helmet. It's shipped like this. There's this plastic divider between the paint of the helmet and then, well, the plastic of the Ninja Turtle head. And that is something where you see how this clips in but I don't want the helmet paint bleeding onto the head as it will probably do and is why it was packaged this way. So for me, yes, I will keep this plastic in there just to be on the safe side. Michelangelo himself, like I said, the head portrait, a little bit too angry for what I think about Michelangelo, but you get plenty of rotation and you'll notice the dent on the forehead right there. That's from being packaged and the helmet tip kind of well, getting in there, unfortunately. The arms, they'll go up to a certain extent because you're gonna have the armor plates. You have bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, unlike Donatello, he only has single joints, but you get plenty of rotation in the hands, waist rotation, which it is in there. You kinda might be stuck on yours, but it definitely works. Again, how does that work with a shell? Doesn't matter, you don't have to think about it. But down to the legs, which they'll kind of kick off to the side, he kind of has like a larger midsection there. He's got some double jointed knees, the feet, the sandals, everything rocks. You got peg holes on the bottom. I would have liked to have seen some weapon storage, mainly for the katanas. That would have been a nice touch. I like weapon storage for a samurai action figure. But you grab the helmet, you peg it into the back of his head and bingo bango, you got yourself a cool looking samurai Michelangelo. Now, like I said, and as I've hinted towards, Playmates Toys is definitely playing a little bit of a role here in these new figures, namely with the Sewer Samurai Leonardo and Raphael as the Space Cadet. Because when you have these all next to each other and you've swapped their respective head portraits, which you can do at ease, Yes, you have some newly updated versions of, let's say, Sewer Samurai Leonardo, which is not gonna be exact, but it is there and that's what I appreciate. It's something new. It's not necessarily gonna be just the same old, same old. And that goes for Raphael as well. You see little diodes, little elements of his suits now translated into this new version. And for that alone, I appreciate it because 
Well, these were just some of the best redesigned Ninja Turtles. So when you have the Super 7 version, the Playmates toys, and this new NECA toys version for Sewer Samurai Leonardo, you get to see how everything kind of differentiates, but it's nice to have just a little bit of new, and that's what the NECA toys version definitely gets right. Now, some people have started to tell me, well, you should get four sets. That way you can have four Samurais and four Space Turtles, which I don't disagree with. But dang it all, I was only going to get one set and now I want to do this because in head swapping all these turtles, you can definitely make them different from one another, even though they're going to be the same bodies. But with Michelangelo holding his respective nunchucks or Donatello space adventuring with his space adventure backpack holding it in hand, this looks awesome. These are definitely a home run. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new cartoon TMNT, the Space Adventure Donatello and the Samurai Adventure Michelangelo, which are respectively, let's say, Super Samurai Leonardo and Raph as a space cadet. But we don't have to talk about that anymore. These are two welcome addition to your cartoon TMNT line, or rather just your TMNT shelf. Because again, these are not based off of things from the 80s cartoon show, but they definitely have that 80s element. And for that alone, I think they're rad. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, while I have praised these, we definitely need Tempestra, Tattoo, and any of the other characters we're missing from the cartoon show. Before we get any more of these, I mean it. Well, these are cool, though. Don't go too crazy. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.